coming the past few weeks. Um, ooh, so uh, Klutz is going to be going uh, me brawler. I've actually fought Klutz's me brawler a few times because Kirby Snake is pretty awful. Um, I feel like this is definitely... I mean, you can say it's about any low tier, but picking up a high tier is usually better than picking up a low tier. Um, so... Um, yeah, so we'll, we'll see. I think when I notice Klutz play, I feel like his... I think right now he just needs more experience with the character because there's a lot of like, this game is full of really awkward, weird positions and it takes a lot of experience to really feel comfortable. And I feel like Sora especially is one of like the most weird characters to fight. Like your openings, when it's your turn, it's so kind of difficult to identify. The zoning is just very awkward as well. And so um, Brawler is a pretty simple character to play, but I think once he gets sort of that familiarity, he'll be a much bigger threat. I think something we're going to need to see, and I think this is something I've noticed from Klutz's Brawler as well, is that he kind of struggles with uh, platform play. Oh shit, that's me. Yo, Scoops, what's good? Um, I think he... I think Klutz... Um, I don't know, I think one of the biggest threats as Brawler is that your your platform pressure is usually pretty terrifying because you have so many conversions to death at around like 60%, and I think... Klutz needs to work on his conditioning on those platforms. And I think if we can see, you know, those early conversions, that'll be huge. Because I Brawler, I imagine, doesn't really edge guard, um, does not edge guard uh, Sora that well. Although I Scoops, I'd love to hear your thoughts on the matchup. I don't. I'm sure you fought Cornball before. Um, what to look out for? Or not. Um, yeah, I, I mean, Cornball not sugarcoating it. Fishing for those nares. Strange F smash. Not a bad F smash. I think when, like, you know, Sora has the kind of F smash where if you get a feel that's, like, for somebody's tempo, for their rhythm of when they're going to approach, you can just throw it out. It's not bad. Yeah, don't edge guard Sora unless you read with dare. It's mostly less traveling and stuff. Yeah, uh, Brawler, it reminds me a lot. Like, being on ledge against Brawler reminds me a lot of. Uh, being on ledge against like Fox, you got a lot of like you got to fear the plat drop bears. You got to fear those lingering nares, sort of a death from a, la a thousand cut sort of deal. Excellent up you read actually, kind of getting that stalling. Um, so we'll we'll see if he can get that extra credit. Uh, I don't know if he could have di that better up, but that is definitely like a, a kill confirm that uh, Cornball will not be missing. Um, so. Yeah, we're, Cornball, I imagine, is going to want to play it very safe here. He is one scary interaction. You get, like, a Nair into a follow-up that puts you on a platform into a down throw, and then you're at death kill percent. And... I need to see if... Uh, sorry, I just heard a yell from somewhere in the venue. And it sounded a lot like Cornball's yell, and I wondered if this stream was a bit behind and something ridiculous happened. But it looks like... Holy shit. That dare trade was insane. Yeah, uh, I hope. Hi, Scorcho. Hi, Kirby011. Um, let's see, I, I want to see if any sets just finished who could have yelled like that, because that's pretty insane. Uh, it may just be in other people. We, we do share this venue with uh, other, you know, with normal people. Um, I don't know, I'm not sure if there's anything crazy that could happen. It was you. Okay, well, Klutz. Taking that game, and pretty comfortably, too. Like, I think part of it, and I feel like... I forgive you, it's okay, Kirby. Uh, part of it is, like, when you're playing Brawler, um, you know, you're, you're not really comfortable with that uh, up burst range. <laughs> and I think Cornball as a player loves stalling. I find that when I fight Brawler players, usually game one can be very scary, because I'm, I'm just not really used to it. And then you die at, like, 40, because they, they, they call you out on it. And so I think... Cornball is likely going to adapt and change up his stalling patterns to not get uppy, and I think it'll be on Klutz to adapt and punish him for uh, respecting it. Uh, interesting uppy, really just showing, hey, I have this move, fear it. Um, but, you know, early lead, but Sora's getting off that ledge. Sora, Sora can struggle to get off of the ledge. Sora, like, just a little bit too floaty, and I think 
the Sora's options off a ledge are a bit gimmicky, like the drop ledge blizzard, which we're going to see in a second. Um, the uh, drop ledge thunder. But like once you get to it, he can it can be pretty easy to call out uh, a Sora on the ledge. Um, all right, so I think. I'm not sure if this is kill percent for Sora. Sora is pretty light. I don't know. I don't. I know the. Don't know the percents off the top of my head. Um, nice up air and uppy, just barely not going to kill. But at this point, with the rage, the next one of those conversions will definitely kill. Uh, I would definitely win this. Uh, as who? You're not beating the Klutz Brawler. You're not beating the Klutz Brawler tenant. All right, sounds good. Um, this will be the last. Uh, this will be the last set for ultimate. Um, this will be interesting. Damn, I suppose I don't know. I feel like Cornball's usually. That was scary. I think the. I don't know, I don't think he should have gone for the up after that up air. I don't think it, it seemed like it would have been true, just with the, the way he spaced it. But I mean, excellent awareness from Cornball to uh, to avoid death in that position. Uh, regardless, um, we have a... Uh, uh, you know, Cornball's back in that kill percent with those up confirms. Um, you know, a good up smash. I don't know if it'll kill here, but it'll be really close to killing here. Um, that was a good F tilt. That was a, I don't know if that was an accidentally good up F tilt or like a really hot F tilt. Um, <laughs> dude, this shot put is always so annoying. It's like, it's just one of those like moves that's weirdly, you know, you don't think it's still active, but it's still active. It'll be motionless on the ground and be active. Uh, I don't know if I would have forward air there. I think I would have, because that forward throw can kill. That was a really great call out from, from Klutz. Is that Thunder is, you know, is it's a big commitment, and that was just a just the right weak point there. Um, spot dodge. Let's see here. I think I feel like Cornball still can bring this to a game three. I think he just needs to lock in a little bit. Um, yeah, I imagine this is pretty I don't know. This this is actually seems a lot trickier than I than I thought it would be. I feel like like Brawler has the movement to sort of get around a lot of like the zoning and I think like Cornball just needs to I'd honestly just be spamming his aerials a bit more I think he uh, he's just leaving too many gaps in his neutral but like I mean this is this is not that bad of a deficit this is definitely this will likely be a last hit situation although Cornball is you not in a position to trade that was a every brawler player on earth would have F smashed that obvious air dodge there Ooh, okay this little I like the idea. I like the idea of the thunder there, just to sort of cover an air dodge. If you're not confident, you can get up there to pressure. But I don't know. I feel like you just kind of gave Klutz there some center stage that you don't want to be giving him right now. That was a. I like the idea from Klutz, but you know, it's like zero suit. You kind of need to know it's going to hit if you're going to you're going to just throw it out like that. Um, uh, you love to see that. All right. That is a 2-0 from Klutz. Uh, his brawler's working a lot better. Uh, I mean, that he, he honestly just looked like a very competent brawler player.